identifying and preventing verticillium wilt. Wilted leaves on plants don't always hint at dry soil. If your plants wilt even when the soil is moist, look for another cause. Infecting some plants, an insidious fungal disease called verticillium wilt starts literally from the ground up. Identifying Symptoms Plants infected with verticillium wilt typically show a progression of symptoms, the leaves particularly the lower leaves first turn yellow, then wilt and finally die. Sometimes the dead and dying leaves drop from a plant, and other times they remain attached even after they're dead. Some plants, however, show different symptoms. Slow Growth Sudden wilting Only one side of a plant or a single branch wilts and dies. Reddish brown or grayish black streaks inside the stems of trees and shrubs. Dead, elongated areas of bark on infected limbs or trunks. The root of the problem. Two fungal species Verticillium gallii and Verticillium alboatrum are the culprits. These pathogens live in the soil and penetrate a plant's root system. The fungus worms its way into a plant's vascular system and invades the xylem, which manages the internal transport of water and minerals. As the fungus grows, it plugs the xylem channels, preventing water from reaching the leaves. When their water supply is cut off, the leaves and branches wilt and die. Prevention Using fungicides or other chemicals rarely controls verticillium wilt. This makes prevention the best course of action to head off disease before it takes hold. Use an integrated pest management strategy with these tips in mind. Remove dead or diseased branches promptly. Avoid using high nitrogen fertilizers Fertilize plants only according to soil test recommendations. Use herbicides judiciously and only as spot treatment controls. Choose plants for your year that are immune or resistant to verticillium wilt instead of others with proven weaknesses. Tip Sanitize pruning tools by soaking the blades for 5 minutes in a solution of 1 part household pine oil clean or in 3 parts water. Rinse the tools or let them air dry before using them. Although it's time consuming, sanitize the blades between each cut on diseased plants. Warning Dispose of all dropped leaves and prune branches from diseased plants. Don't add them to the compost pile, and don't use chipped branches as mulch. Susceptible Plants Many types of plants are more susceptible to verticillium wilt than other plants, such as trees. Redbud Circus canadensis, hardy in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 4 through 9. Shrubs Indian Hawthorn Raphio lepicidica, USDA zones 8 through 11. Heavenly Bamboon Andina domestica, USDA zones 6 through 9. Herbaceous Perennials Mealy Cups H. Salvia Farinacea, USDA Zones 8 through 10. Transvaal Daisy Gerbera Jameson, USDA Zones 8 through 10. Annuals Tomato Lycopersicanus gillindum, Potato Selenum tuberosum, Pepper Capsicum SBP. And eggplant Solanum melangina, all members of the Solanaceae plant family. Garden balsam Impatiens balsamina, 